The concept of six-packs is more of an aesthetic term than a scientific one. It refers to visible abdominal muscles. Everyone has these muscles, but they are often hidden under the skin. The visibility of a six-pack is a result of having low body fat and well-developed core muscles. The specific muscle responsible for the six-pack appearance is the rectus abdominis, a long, flat muscle segmented by bands of connective tissue, giving it the distinctive look. Also, the appearance of a six-pack or eight-pack is largely determined by genetic factors. Most people have three connective tissue bands in their rectus muscle, resulting in a six-pack. But a minority of people have four bands, leading to an eight-pack. So eight-pack is not directly correlated on exercise or body fat, but it depends if person has for connective tissue bands on the abdominal muscle or not, which is genetically predetermined. Rectus abdominis not only contributes to the abdomen's appearance, but also supports the trunk, aids in breathing, and helps maintain posture. It is involved in movements such as bending forward, flexion. Exercises like crunches, planks, squats, and leg raises can increase the size and definition of the rectus abdominis muscle. Another crucial factor in making a six-pack visible is reducing body fat percentage. For men, a body fat percentage of around 10 to 12% might reveal a six-pack with even lower percentages, 6 to 8%, needed for a more defined look. Women might start seeing a six-pack at around 18% body fat, with 14 to 16% needed for greater definition. However, reducing body fat to very low levels is not always indicative of good health. This is because of the U-shaped relationship between body fat percentage and all-cause mortality, meaning both very low and very high body fat percentages are associated with increased health risks. The ideal fat percentage is approximately 15% for men and 20% for women. It's also important to note that having a lower body fat percentage doesn't necessarily reflect better metabolic health. People who lead physically active lifestyles tend to have better health markers than their inactive counterparts, even if they have the same body fat percentage. In summary, while a six-pack might be aesthetically pleasing, it doesn't directly indicate health or strength. For long-term health, men might find an optimal body fat percentage around 15%. Going below this could have unfavorable health effects. Exercise routines like reverse crunches for lower abs, high to low cable wood choppers for side abs, and weighted crunches for upper abs can help in developing these muscles.